what are they and how can they be done? So we do have three different types of valuations. There's a desktop valuation where a valuer might just sit away at the computer and do a bit of a quick research and come out with a figure for the property. Uh, another one is a curbside valuation where they just drive past the property, look at the location, but they don't necessarily enter the property at all. Hence the reason it's called curbside. And then there's a full valuation where the valuer will actually enter the property, look at the internal aspect of the property, and also the yardage and everything else, and do a whole check measure. Sometimes this is determined by the LVR, so that's the loan value ratio. So if you've got a $400,000 house and you've got a debt of 200000 that's an LVR of 50%. So if there's a low risk to the bank, where the lower the LVR, the lower, less of the risk, well, what will happen is they might just do a quick desktop valuation to ensure that the property exists and it is at a reasonable value to what uh, you, the owner, are declaring it. Uh, the higher the LVR, when we get to like maybe a $360,000 loan on a $400,000 property, so there's less margin in that deal for the bank, only 10%, or it's a 90% lend, the bank is most likely to do a full valuation, send a value out there and inspect the property properly so they can be assured uh, that the asset value is worth what it is and therefore if they did have to claim the asset off you if you didn't make repayments, well they'll be able to sell it quickly and get the money back and not make the loss. I hope that helps with all the valuations and, and give some insight into how that part of the industry works.